Why Georgia? I mean, because it's a pretty extraordinary story. Yeah, except, I mean, when you consider, uh, we've had a, a, a long pedigree of, of production and storytelling in Georgia through Turner Studios and its subsidiaries and, and really kind of a vibrant independent scene for years. When you combine uh, that with uh, the growth uh, of, of the movie business generally and the focus on uh, identifying places with smart uh, policy, good business cultures like, like Georgia, uh, and, and of course good tax incentives, uh, you know, the industry wants to go uh, where the opportunity is, and Georgia has been that opportunity for the last year. How big is the tax incentive, and how important is it in deciding to produce here? Well, it's one of, I mean, if you look at the history of tax incentives across the United States, uh, they can come and go, and it really takes kind of a, a recipe of resources to make it all work. Tax incentive is extremely important, right? But so is a strong labor force, so is the private capital that comes to, to the table to build the kind of infrastructure that's necessary for us to manufacture the movies we manufacture, right? And Georgia has kind of had that magic recipe of private, re uh, you know, uh, private investment capital that has dumped into the uh, uh, into the infrastructure, the smart tax policy, the business-friendly state. Uh, you know, Georgia's done uh, really well every year for the last uh, five, six, seven years has been recognized as a, a very smart business state. So. So intellectual property really is an important underpinning to the entire entertainment business, sure. particularly when it comes to films. We now have this big 301 dispute going on with China about intellectual property. <laughs> sure. How does your industry, how do you feel about that? Because on the one hand, you need protection for your intellectual property. On the other, that's a big export market, China. It is. It is. And I'll tell you, when, you know, uh, trade wars sort of, when, when, when trade wars like these sort of emerge, typically uh, cultural products like film aren't the first weapon that policymakers <laughs> use to sort of no, you know, uh, create leverage. Right, yeah, it's not grain, it's not uh, tires, as <laughs> President Obama uh, did with China. Uh, and, and we have been uh, dealing with a, a sort of protectionist uh, uh, government in China for years in the movie business. There's a certain number of uh, foreign films that can be imported mm -hmm. uh, into China. I think the current agreement is to 36 films, and, and there's talk about moving it up to 50 and 60. So we struggle with this anyway. Uh, with China, and we've, uh, through co-production agreements uh, and, 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 and the typical desire that most countries have to, to import our cultural product, right, uh, we tend to be uh, not immune, but let's just say that we're one of the last industries to feel the impact. Hmm. Uh, what, how, where does growth happen? How, how much more can you grow here in the industry? Uh, well, growth is, is happening in the DTC, the direct-to-consumer uh, 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 platforms, you know, Netflix, Amazon, Google, and, and really um, what has needed to happen for a long time in our industry is, 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 is the growth in that relationship, the direct-to-consumer relationship. And so you're seeing enormous uh, output by Netflix, uh, we're seeing uh, big growth um, uh, coming in Apple uh, and Google, and, and as we watch box office relatively shrink year over year, you know, down to one point something revenue, but actually attendance is dropping, you're seeing enormous growth in the platforms. The movie you're looking forward to most? Oh, coming out? so unfair. What is it? What is it? What is it? Really Choose between your children. Well, if you don't see, you know, Avengers, if duh. you don't see Avengers Infinity War, I mean, if you don't see the sequel, if you yeah. don't see yeah. Galaxies, I mean, come on, you've oh, got no, it. No, yeah, no. Yeah, okay. I live for okay, that. Okay, I have yes. a great half year old. Yeah, yeah. It's the only movies I will get a babysitter for. Frank Patterson, Pinewood Atlanta Studios president, thank, thank you very you. much uh, for joining us.